Hey Siri, uh -huh. what's the temperature in Laguna to go? It's currently partly cloudy and 63 degrees. Expect clear skies starting in the afternoon. Temperatures will be fairly consistent, averaging about 58 degrees. Sounds like SoCal in the winter to me. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a real-time application and everyday use case of artificial intelligence. AI technology is becoming more and more interwoven into our daily lives without us even realizing it. For Siri to work properly, a few things needed to take place, such as natural language generation, natural language processing, and machine learning, all three of which make up the mechanics of a complex process replicated by computer scientists. Natural language processing, or NLP for short, is the ability of a computer to read or understand the content produced by us humans. For example, writing and speaking. Natural language generation refers to a machine's ability to create content in either written or spoken language so that it can then be understood by us humans. Machine learning is the application of artificial intelligence, where machines are given access to data and then it can learn from that data rather than needing to be reprogrammed what to think or what to do about that data. This way, every time Siri makes a mistake when responding to a request, it uses that data it receives based on how it responded to the original query to improve the next time. If an error was made, it takes the data and learns from it. If the response was positive, the AI system documents that as well. Data and machine learning are responsible for the explosive growth of the AI technologies like digital voice assistants and advanced web searches like Google. The technology continues to improve over time with the more data and experiences it accumulates. Today's video is about artificial intelligence and the hardware that supports this fascinating technology. Did you know that the first form of AI was invented way back in 1936 by a gentleman named Alan Turing? He called his invention the A-Machine, short for the automatic machine. Turing machines not only showed us that a commercial use case existed for artificial intelligence, however, it identified identified fundamental limitations on the power of mechanical computation. While the A machine could only express arbitrary computations, its basic design ultimately capped its capabilities, making them unsuitable for everyday use cases like the modern day computers we know, use, and love. The hardware used for AI today mainly consists of one or more of the following. Central processing units, CPUs, graphics processing units, GPUs, field programmable gate arrays, FPGAs, and application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs. A GPU is a chip designed to speed up data processing and is made up of thousands of smaller cores designed for heavy computing. GPUs complete repetitive tasks like data input, texture mapping, image rotation, translation, and filtering. Different types of AI chips are used for different reasons or tasks. GPUs are most commonly used for initial development and refining of AI algorithms. This process is known as training. FPGAs are most commonly used to apply trained artificial intelligence algorithms to complete real world data inputs, which is often referred to as inference. ASICs can be used either like GPUs or FPGAs. Today, modern computers combine powerful CPUs used to solve processing with dedicated hardware. But keep in mind, GPUs and FPGAs are the popular, dedicated, and most common hardware used in AI systems and workstations. An AI workstation is a dedicated system that can plug in anywhere and provide maximum performance for multiple simultaneous users anywhere in the world. At Link2, we recognize the growth potential for artificial intelligence technology and the impact that it will have on every corner of the world. In fact, available for investing on Link2's platform is the company Cerebrus Systems, which builds the largest AI chips and fastest software solutions to date, empowering healthcare financial, energy, government, and scientific computing customers. The AI chip Cerebrus builds trains other AI systems how to accomplish tasks even faster. Think of Cerebrus systems as Mr. Miyagi from the movie Karate Kid, training other AI models how to operate more efficiently. A subset of artificial intelligence is deep learning, which relies on GPU acceleration, both for training and inference purposes. These days, NVIDIA delivers GPU acceleration everywhere you need it, to data centers, desktops, laptops, and the world's fastest supercomputers. If your data is in the cloud, NVIDIA's deep learning solutions is a available on services like Amazon, Google, IBM, and Microsoft. However, step to the side, NVIDIA, there's a new sheriff in town. From Sunnyvale, California, Cerebra Systems built the largest processor ever known to man and the fastest AI accelerator in the industry. Intel's first processor manufactured in 1971 had 2,300 transistors. Today, Cerebra Systems AI chip called the Wafer Scale Engine is equipped with 2.6 trillion transistors. Transistors are basically the on and off switches inside silicone chips used for artificial intelligence. AI chips gain speed and efficiency by incorporating vast number of smaller and smaller transistors that run faster and consume less energy. Some AI chips have other design features that optimize their performance, ultimately speeding up identical, predictable, and independent calculations which AI algorithms require. Only a decade ago was modern AI born. A team of academic researchers showed us with millions of photos and days of regular computation that a deep learning model could be trained to identify objects and animals in entirely new images. Today, deep learning has evolved from classifying pictures of cats and dogs to translating 
languages, detecting tumors, and performing thousands of other time-saving tasks. Artificial intelligence can combine input from multiple structured and unstructured sources, reason at a semantic level, and use these abilities to help health professionals make more informed decisions. For example, AI can help a physician make a diagnosis, a nurse create a care plan, or a social service agency arrange services for an elderly citizen. Today, artificial intelligence is being used to predict which potential medicines would and would not be effective for various diseases. This only occurs when the AI has been trained to leverage databases of molecular structures and using convolutional neural networks, a technology similar to the ones used to make autonomous cars drive by themselves. There isn't an industry that hasn't already been affected by AI technology. That's especially true in the past few years as data collection and analysis have ramped up considerably thanks to emerging IoT devices, including smart appliances, electric vehicles, AR and VR headsets, and smartphones in the hands of basically everyone around the world. According to Statista, there are over 6.5 billion smartphone subscriptions worldwide this year, which is up 85% since 2016, and the trajectory isn't slowing down one bit. As we progress into a world powered by artificial intelligence and quantum computing, where everyone is walking around with a supercomputer in their hand, we're going to experience an unavoidable and fatal bottleneck, which is memory bandwidth. AI and machine learning applications are driving the need for better memory performance, capacity, and overall power efficiency, challenging memory system designers of today on multiple fronts, all at the same time. According to OpenAI, artificial intelligence and machine learning training capabilities has increased by a factor of 300,000 from 2012 to 2019, doubling every three months. And the main reasons driving the advancements of artificial intelligence is algorithmic innovation and the quality of data and computing available today. The market for AI chips is growing incredibly fast. According to PitchBook, AI chip global sales grew by 60% in 2021 with a market cap of 35 billion. And according to Allied Market Research, the market is expected to grow to 194 billion by 2030. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence or invest in the companies developing the hardware side of AI, like Link to Portfolio Company Cerebra Systems, then visit our website, download our application, or reach out to any one of us on the team. I'll help you through every step of the process. That's all I have for you today. Have a great day and I'll see you on the platform.